Hello all, welcome to People's TV. In this video, we will know about the arches and the technical terms used in arches. An arch is a structure comprising a number of relatively small units such as bricks or masonry blocks which are wedge shaped or standard uncut bricks joined together with mortar and spanning an opening to support the weight above. When we use the wedge shaped brick in arches then the arch is more stable. The unit supports each other. The load tends to make them compact and enables them to transmit the pressure downwards to their supports. So before knowing the classification of arches, we should know the technical terms which are applied to the arches and the adjacent structures. First one is Vzars. These are wedge shaped bricks or ordinary standard uncut bricks which we use in walls or can be blocks of stone which comprise an arch. The last was used to be placed in position is usually the center one and is known as the key brick or keystone. It is sometimes emphasized by making it larger and projecting it above or below the outlines of arch. Next is rinkos, also known as ring or rim. It is the circular course comprising the arch. These rinkos can be single, double or triple depending on the size and design of the arch. In this arch, we have used single ring by placing the standard uncut bricks radially. Another is extra dose or back. It is the external curve of the arch. And next is interdose, which is the inner curve of the arch. Another is soffit. It is the inner or under surface of the arch. The difference between interdose and soffit is that in soffit we are talking about the inner surface but in interdose we talk about the inner curve but at some places both these terms are accepted as same. Next is abutments. It is the portion of the wall which supports the arch. Another term is skewbacks. It is the incline or splayed surfaces of the abutments prepared to receive the arch and from which the arch springs. It is found in flat gauged arch. In this arch, the skew back is flat as it is a semicircular arch and the arch is resting on the abutment itself. Next term is springing points. These are the points at the intersection between the skew backs and the interdose. Another term is springing line. It is the horizontal line joining the two springing points. Next term is springers. It is the lowest vzars immediately adjacent to the skew backs. Another term is crown. It is the highest point of the extradors. Next is haunch. It is the lower half of the arch between the crown and a skew back. Another term is span. It is the horizontal distance between the reveals of the supports. Next is rise. It is the vertical distance between the springing line and the highest point of the interdose. Another term is center or striking point. It determines the center point of the arch with its radius. Next is depth or height. It is the distance between the extra dose and interdose. Another term is thickness. It is the horizontal distance between the front and the back face at right angles. It is sometimes referred to as the width or breadth of the soffit. Next term is bed joints. These are the joints between the vasas which radiate from the center. Another is spandrel. It is the triangular walling enclosed by the extra dose or outer curve of two adjoining arches. Next is impost. It is the projecting course or courses at the upper part of the pyre or other abutment to stress the springing line. It is molded sometimes and also known as cap. 
Another term is plinth. It is the projecting brickwork at the base of the wall or pyre, which gives the appearance of additional strength, and is also known as base. Next is arcade. Arcade are the series of arches adjoining each other, which supports the wall and are supported by pyres, which you can see in the current model. Another arch is springing from the same pyre. When we continue adding arches adjacent to each other in the similar manner, it forms an arcade. Those were the mostly used terms which are applied in arches. Before knowing the construction of an arch and their types, one should get familiar with these terms first. I hope this video made you clear about terminology used in arches. Leave your comments for any query, like, subscribe and share if video was helpful to you. Thanks.